Hey everyone, my name is Andrew Hess. This is going to be our fourth video. So I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. So I had a question here and it was, you know, awesome tutorials. They want to build something similar, but they're struggling with the proposed start and proposed end date fields. How to remove the time. And, and I kind of skipped over that. I went really fast. All right, so I have a new form here. There's some extra stuff in here, but just pay attention to the form uh, right here. So you notice, I'm just gonna throw you some few tips. If you want to highlight the form, normally you can click on the scroll bar and that's gonna highlight the form here on the left side. So that's uh, a lot useful. So you can click on the form and go to properties and then you can edit the fields You know, here. You can add fields, edit fields, Let's say you customize one of the fields and we're going to get into that. So like the start date here, I have, I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to make some changes. And let's say, you know, I wanted, this is what I was going getting into is I would come in here and I would delete the hour, the separator and the minute, right? And that's going to leave me with a red X here. And the red X is on the update property. So you see this up here, this is the update property. So when it's trying to write to the form, it doesn't know what you want to update, right? Because we removed the time, uh, the value here, the minutes and the time, and then also the seconds. So I'm just gonna remove all of that because I only want the day. Even if you choose to make a date value, date only, it's still gonna put the time in there. It's a little crazy. Maybe Microsoft will change that in the future. So now you can see that uh, I have my field here and I could you know, make this bigger if I want to, but it's just not right. So let's take a look, and this is how I figure these things out. Let's take a look at this uh, text value right here and let's go to the width. So the width here is parent.width.minus, parent.width minus 48. So why don't I just do the same thing on my date picker? Now that I removed the minute value and the seconds value. Now I'm coming to the width and it's set up like divided by two, right? Because it's saying, hey, use the date as half. So I can just come in here and do minus 48 and it's gonna take up the entire spacing. Now, and this is just more beginner tips, right? So when I press play, my form is blank, right? It doesn't know what should be in the form. You could put it in a new form and make everything blank but what you really do is you want to connect your form in the items property. And I know I've gone over this a bunch of times, but it, so we can click on the form, you click on the scroll bar. Then you go to the items property of the form and we want to connect this to something. And so what we're going to connect it to is what we selected at our gallery on the first page. So that's my gallery one dot selected. So when we go back, so this is our gallery. Whatever we have selected in our gallery is then going to populate on the next screen. So let's see, I can pick um, road closure, right? And then I'm going to go to that other screen. You'll notice that now the form is populated with road closure. So let's get back to this start date again, right? We're, we're taking a view and it's not fitting right still. Still, it's not fitting perfectly. What we can do is you come, and this is mostly in Dataverse and Dataverse for Teams when you use Canvas apps, right? So what you do is you come to this card, the start date, and you go to width fit property and you drop it down to false. Then what I would do is I would come to the width and I would say parent dot width. So the parent is the form divided by three. So now our card is only a third, which fits in our column. So we can do the same thing for end. Right, so let me run through it again. We delete the, we unlock it. We delete the hour, delete the separator, delete the minutes, update the update property, remove it. Then I'm coming to the card. I'm gonna change the width fit to false. And then I'm gonna change the width to parent.width divided by three. And then I can just slide it right on up there. Like Power Apps will fight you a little bit. But one thing that you can do to make sure that you have space there is to add a blank card. So this is just for out of the box forms. So you, once again, I'm gonna click on the scroll bar to select the whole form. I'm gonna to go to properties, edit fields, and then the three dots here, I'm gonna do add custom card. 
This is going to give me a blank card. I'm going to drag it up right after end and start date. And then once again for here, let's move this up. Let's get the, the spacing right. So now I have this blank card here. I can drag this up and make this a little smaller, make this a little smaller. Now it's forcing that blank space in there. Power apps may fight you a little bit sometimes, but if you add that blank space in there, it's gonna fit in there correctly. So now I have two dates in there and neither one of them are using the seconds like these date pickers are. So I have start, end, and they're only going to save the date value now. Now the seconds and times value will not even populate. And finally, let's say you customized a field and you broke it, you hate it, you wanna restart. Look, it's really easy. Once you press customize, you can click on the scroll bar once again, and then you can add that field back. So we edited the start. We can add start back, and then it's going to be the non-customized version. And then we can just drag it back up to the top, and it's going to have those minutes in there again. So you see here's our start now. Here's the one that we customized. And then we just added uh, the field back again, but this one is, is still locked. So that's another little tip. If you, if you mess up a field and you go into custom, just add the field back and then you can get back to your beginning. Uh, I know that was a quick video this week, but if you have more questions and you want me to work on this Power App and I can build on your questions, please leave me a comment in YouTube. Uh, I would love to have more reasons to create videos. Thank you all for watching. My name is Andrew Hess.